Hello, my friends. Welcome in. It's the end of year five of our experiment. I have a question for you. I'm going to leave it for the end of the episode about upcoming experiments. So stay tuned for that. Shout out to a brand new patron on the channel, Colm O'Neill. Thank you for joining. He gave me pronunciation help. So he said it was like Gollum, but with a C. So we're going to go with Colm. Thank you for support. It means a ton. Thank you, everybody else that left comments on the last episode. I know I did it kind of fast. I was trying to see how quickly I could get it done, but there were things that I did not see, right? Like we added two new Wonder Kids last uh, last episode, and I didn't see that. So today we're going to take it a little bit more of the normal pace. I'm not going to try and rush as much, but I just want to say thanks for the support on this this series and my channel overall. We have blown past 4,700 subscribers. We're on the march to 5K. That's like, man, if we can get to 5K, it feels like like that's like real and stuff. Um, not that 4,700 is not real, you know. Anyway, thank you for your support. Let's go take a look at our players. First up is Juan. He's still with DC United, still on 7K a week. Hashtag MLS contracts, my friend, until 2025. That's absurd. He's wanted, though. Ooh, Newcastle dipping back into the MLS, you know, pool. You know, they, they got Almiron. Um, he's up to nine senior caps and a goal on 21 years old. Not bad. Let's, and and I know I got this request to get this back up here, so we're going to make sure that that continues. Six touches up to 16. I can't remember if it was there or not. Looking pretty good. I'd like the technicals to get a little bit better, but overall, quite good. Now, we are going to take a look now that he's getting senior caps, and we're going to look at each player's club, and if they've got senior caps, we'll look at their their senior um, their, their country experience. Okay, okay. Okay, just notice this. Once a new contract, a new deal to reflect his ability. Mate, you got five goals and four assists and 16. That's good. 705. It's not like he's... I mean, that's good. That's one every three and one every, four, you know, whatever. Four for the assists. All right, mate. Like, getting a little ambitious. Let's take a look. Last season, 29 and four. Uh, starts and subs. Nine goals, five assists out of 695. That's pretty... I mean... You know, settling in, probably having to learn the language, you know, getting used to that. Four cup starts on a 6.68, and then five international starts, two subs on a 6.42. With no, nothing to show, no goals, no assists, nothing. Eight fouls. Okay, and then like you see this season, okay, one uh, international start, one sub with a goal on a 7.05. So a little bit better. Maybe he just had to get used to the level, or maybe it's a different tournament. Could could be that. Could be that. So let's go take a look here at the form. Okay. Okay. A mixture. Okay. So this makes sense, right? So depending on how deep the roster is at your club, like in MLS, you have to be able to like have players that play multiple positions. That's why I found in my DC United save last year. It's like only having players that can play one role, very bad. You have to be able to mix it up because there's so many games, right? Like Look at these games, three, ga three days apart, four days apart, right? So on and so forth. So the fact that he's playing both the attacking midfield and the, str the striker role doesn't really surprise me. Um, had a good little, this is a good run of three games or six games here. Um, the mostly those are as the attacking midfield. So that's kind of curious to see that he's scored some goals and gotten some assists that way. But then up here, obviously, against the LA Galaxy, two assists and a goal. Not bad. So kind of a... That's interesting that, like, it's not just one role that he's getting all of his, you know, production out of. And then for Chile, okay, we got to go back. This is 2023, so anything before, okay, I'm, he, yes, nine starts since we last saw him. Um, on 79, off 52, so kind of not, not going, only going full 90 once against Japan. And the rest of the time, you know, playing half of the game or, you know, a little bit more at times. Um, only goal is against Ireland. So we'll have to take a look to see, you know, was, uh, who is it, is it, uh, it's our former Cabotilli player. I can't remember who it is right now to see if, if they were in that game as well. So, but then a 5.7 against France. It's France, but still, mate. Ooh. Okay. So is this, is this World Cup? 20 no 2022 is not world cup so okay let's go take a look what what was chile up to okay that's a friendly okay and that was world cup oh it is 2022 i was thinking 2020 2022 yeah yeah so it was in november so japan algeria and france i mean 
that's interesting that you you're able to beat Japan, draw with Algeria, and I mean, I mean they ran roughshod over them. My goodness, six one. Friendly's leading up to it. I guess you did USA not make it in Italy? Like are these are the warm up games. That would be disappointing. Um, we don't have time to look at that, my friends. But let's go back to that uh, that Ireland friendly here. I guess he came on as a sub. That's what that looks like to me. But he scored the equalizer, so that's good. We'll take a look at the Irish team when, when we get to that player. Um, right, and their ranking is... I mean, since he joined, right? I mean, again, this the, the date down here says June, over to the left behind my head it says June 2023 so that isn't accurate because it wouldn't have bounced around that much but uh there's one do you think he leaves and if so does he go to Newcastle or somewhere else it's Grant Corgan he's still with the Rangers he has a senior cap I don't remember if he already did really good decision maker first touch long sh I would like some of these you got to be able to dribble mate Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not. Wait. Th okay. I forgot. It's not mid season for them. I was like, wait a minute. He was on a first team contract. How's he not played? All right. 27 starts, two subs, four assists, no goals on a 681. Okay. Three cups on a 653. And then an international sub on a 6.8. So he breaks in to the Scottish national team. Take all the injuries, blisters, fractured ribs, like, eh, I mean, I mean, nothing that's like out for eight months type situation. Um, almost to the dark green on the speed. Everything else is kind of, uh, is this his level? Do you think this is Grant's level? Six and a half grand a week, 425. He's, oh, did he, did he get a new contract? He did get a new contract in August with a 26 million, is it? Yeah, because he had that release clause. It was like $22 million, So they bumped it up to $26 million until January 31st of 2025. So to get them through that January transfer window. If he gets five international caps, he goes up to eight grand a week. He's currently on 6500 So, I mean, that's a substitute appearance. Where has he been playing? Midfield. All day, every day, midfield. Okay. Um, and picked, yeah, you know, had a run of four games where he got three assists. And that's kind of the, the top. Yeah, that's all of it. Yeah. Um, and then got called in in March. So just just at the, the, you know, a couple months ago in the game against San Marino comes on 14th minute. So it wasn't like an 88th minute sub, right? Like somebody must have gotten injured. Comes on in the 14th minute, gets a 6.8, and then is an unused sub against Armenia. I think that's fair. That's totally fair. Um, and I forgot to look at DC United, didn't I? Sure did. Um, let's take a look at Rangers. Hey, look. Oh, second, my friends. They've not been able to crack the code yet. The entire... I mean, that's obviously back in the... So, fourth in 1819. And then second the rest of the way. He's not listed here as one of their, you know, key players or anything like that. As you kind of would have would expect. But he's starting. So, he's in the mix. He's a defensive midfielder. He's fairly determined. He can knock the ball past the opponent. He can be a three in a bind at the goalkeeper rating. Eh? Eh? I like it. I like it. Okay, let's go back and look at DC United. All right, DC United ended up seventh in the supporter shield, which is like the the overarching season table. That that's what the the supporter shield is. And then they've got they've got the cup. I mean, I guess we just look at the schedule to see like how that's the season. Did they get into? They lost a wild card round to Toronto. You can't see it down here. Toronto FC three nil. And uh, one other thing. Do they still have Wayne Rooney? Oh, it looks like they've they've taken Wayne Rooney out for one. I mean, it's 2023. All right. All right, Juan. Okay. You know, it's big shoes to fill. Just being honest with you. Um, I'm just kind of curious when that happened. Now. I guess it could be he was just released, and that might not show up on the all transfers. <laughs> I got to know. Wayne Rudy. 2021. Coincidence? Juan shows up. Wayne gets the boot, and now he's a manager. All right, now let's go look at our next player. 
What? Jordan Bradford has moved to Liverpool's under 23s. What? So he goes. Okay. What happened? Okay. Per Sarang Sarang. His contract runs out. He was wanted by Tottenham, right? This is the guy that was wanted by Tottenham. And so. When in 2022, we signed a new deal in 2023, so we can't see that. But at some point in 2022, Liverpool picks him up. And that, like, it's not the, the, like, must have been after the start of the season. So, like, August of 2022 or later, Liverpool picks him up and loans him out to Leverkusen in the Bundesliga, where he gets two starts, concedes four on a 6.1. And he gets two cup starts because he's four on a 5.75. And he has 15 international starts, 14 conceded, 6.56. I mean, that seems a bit harsh. He had five clean, clean sheets. So I guess in 10 games, you gave up 14. And in five games, you had clean sheets. And then, obviously, now he's with Liverpool and he's had uh, a, a, a friendly, right? A, a 8.0, looking good. Uh, pulled hamstring earlier this year and then a broken finger. Okay, that was not great at the uh, going into December, January time frame. So he's had some breaks in his hands, but okay. I, I, I mean, he's a hot prospect, right? So he signed a new deal, 2023. It's a three-year deal. If he reaches 25 club games, which he's never going to, I don't, I mean, sorry, Jordan. I just don't think that's going to happen. But, uh, mate, yeah, yeah, loving that. Um, so the question is, with him being 21, I mean, he is getting international starts, right? Seven conceded, four clean sheets, and Asian Nations Cup qualifying. He's with the 39 international caps. You don't have a goal, mate. You can't take a penalty? Come on, mate. Um, they've got him listed for a loan. Nobody is interested right now, but it's like, the, you know, it's July, so there's time to kind of sort that out. But do you think if he's going to some, like, if he goes to, like, a Leverkusen or that level of club, will the training facilities enable him to kind of, like, to right the wrongs where his attributes fell down a little bit? I I am a bit shocked, my friends. I am, uh, I kind of can't believe that. Let's go take a look at Indonesia. Okay, they continue to rise up to 115th, my friend. I mean, it's a tie for 115th, sure. He is their top player. Their second top player in a similar situation to last time where doesn't have a club. Hey, mate. Can you have somebody call him? Can you come join us over here? Um, Okay. So, okay. Singapore. Played against Singapore. We'll have to take a look to see if our Singaporean player was there in Asian World Cup qualifiers. And 7.2. And a 7.4. He's standing on his head, my friends, in World Cup qualification. That's lovely. And then the rest is just friendly. So... Did he play in all the friendlies? Oh, that he got injured against North Korea. I'm sure Liverpool was thrilled about that in a friendly. And they lost because, you know, your starting goalkeeper goes out. Um, this one, we don't get to see who played. Interesting. Same thing here. That's a bit odd. Uh, World Cup qualification currently on top. So they've got, what, they'll play eight games. So two, the 25% of the way through. They're currently at least tied for first on points if Thailand wins against uh, Chinese Taipei, China PR. Singapore not doing so great, as you can see. But that's, he's their key player. And that's exciting. I mean, it's, it's exciting that his career continues and that, you know, maybe we can get some of these attributes up now that he's going to be at clubs that have, like, tr- real training facilities or get loaned out someplace that has real training facilities and can get him some actual game time. That's exciting, my friends. Okay, let's go take a look at our next player. Oh, where do you think Jordan will go? Doesn't have anybody listed. I, I, th- I think Bundesliga is a bit bit of an ask at, at this attribute level right now, but that's just me. All right, my friends, it's Jonathan Needham. He is still with his club in Mexico. He has five senior caps. Continues to improve, I think, decisions first touch. I, I Again, I feel like we're getting to the point where the 16s is like, that's been there maybe. But he's unhappy, wants to move to a bigger club. He's on contract. Ooh, did, 
Okay, he's on his original deal. I wonder if he's yeah, yearly wage rise is what's what's led to his wages going up. Key player, 7.5k a week. Let's take a look at last season. 24 starts, two goals and assist on a 677. Four cup starts. No goals on a 6.7 and then an international start, two subs on a 7.0. That's actually pretty good from an international standpoint if you ask me. Um, and I know I, I I didn't look at Liverpool because well, he didn't play for Liverpool and he wasn't at Leverkusen very long and it's, it, it, Jordan it wasn't like he was the you know the reason. Um, okay, a hip injury. Oh gosh, look, ooh, this is looking kind of nervy. Okay, so we go back to this season. He's been out was at eight weeks, ten weeks, fourteen weeks this past season. That's a little concerning, I think. But he wants to move. No one's interested, despite him being fairly poor dynamically and unhappy. Um, yeah, he, so he, I mean, he's unhappy, but it's like, mate, you, you were out injured for a long time, for eight weeks, and then he comes back in. He, like, works his way back into the squad, right? And they put him back in as a midfielder, and he goes full 90, off 72, off 68. Gets a, gets a goal on a 7.1. But does okay. Let's look at the uh, the international appearances here. That's this year. That's last year. That's last year. So Australia, Spain, and Guyana on 76. Okay, substituted in both of these games. And then off at 56. Did Mexico... Did they not well, make... Surely they made the World Cup, and he just wasn't in the squad? Is that... Is that what happened? Question mark? Yes, he just did not make this the World Cup squad. Oh my, they... Look away, Mexico fans! Look away! But they are in CONCACAF Con Gold Cup contention. He is not getting... I don't think... Yeah, he is. He, he got... There's the Guiana game. There it is. Okay, so he played one game. A 3 no, but that's the North American Nation... That's... Yeah, that's essentially the CONCACAF Nations League, because... That's UEFA did it, so everybody's going to do it now. Um, but he's not even in the Gold Cup squad, so that's a little concern. I mean, there's still time, right? So Gold Cup squad is like something you want to make your way into, right? If you want to be part of L3. So that's where we're at with Jonathan Needham. Do you think he'll move? If so, does he stay like on that side of the Atlantic, or does he go to Europe or something like that? Let me know what you think in the comments as we go look at our next player. Mike Vite Mike Vite M Mike is at Liverpool as well. Liverpool on a spending spree. Oh my, he's worth 30.5 million. Wait, wasn't was Mike one of the ones listed as a wonder kid? Because he's now listed as a winger. Curls ball, plays one twos, runs with the ball often. Very technical and speedy. Okay, how much did they pay? Let's see. He's worth 30 and a half million. I'm gonna say they paid 24 million. No. They played 48 and a half million. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the, mm -hmm. Okay, he comes back from loan. They're in the championship. He gets two league starts on a 6.8 and an assist. And then Liverpool come in. We'll have to see when the... Con I would imagine the contract is going to show his his current deal. So did he come in in the January transfer window? Like, did he just not play? But 10 starts, 7 subs, 3 goals, 2 assists, 2 players in the match on a 7-1-7 in league. That's in the Premier League with 3 cup starts on a 6.8. 3 continental subs with a goal and an assist on a 7.2. 8 international starts with 4 goals, 2 assists on a 7-1-4. No, they bought him in July. Now, how... Wait. July 2022. How... How I guess they started in July because of the World Cup. That must be it. I'm like, the Premier League doesn't start in July. But I guess that makes sense. So he plays two games, and then they sell him on. 
48 and a half million my friend I, you know i'd say watford got a good deal there right they loaned him out it looks like for free because there's not a, an amount listed here 25k turning it into 48 and a half million that's you know i hope that scout got a bonus you know that's all i'm saying um no major injuries pulled growing minor stuff okay all right all right lands playing on the attacking midfield on the right so he, he has he replaced mo Salah. oh 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 whoa 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 i was good with you now until now mike okay Okay, I mean, again, but just to just to reiterate, <laughs> eight point six against Fulham, a seven point three against Brighton. Okay, the rest of it, yeah, okay. Northern Ireland, I mean, starting here, right? So picked up seven more or eight more goals against Ecuador, Bulgaria, Kazakhstan, and Gibraltar. Assist against Serbia and Gibraltar. I mean, you must have done something wrong to have an assist and still have a 6.4. Or it must have been like a fluky assist, maybe. But the rest of the time, doing quite well. Doing quite well. All right, we are going to take a look. I mean, he played enough games. Like, we'll take a look. Oh. oh. <laughs> I feel like this happens a lot. Pep is now in charge at Liverpool. So, okay. And they finished fourth. Interesting. Um, it's mo Mo Salah's there. Save a long-term injury or something? Twisted ankle. No, he's, he's just 31. And he signed a new deal. So how does that work? That's curious. So is Mike like... But he's on a first-team contract. So where... Where does Mo... Where does Mo go? If Mike is on a first-team contract and Guedes is on a first-team contract and Firmino is on a first-team contract and Sala is on a key player contract, how do you... That's Pep's problem, not mine. Um, but I think that's fascinating. And then... Okay. Mm. They've continued to drop. They are now 69th in the world and still keeping Michael O'Neill. Mike Vitek is their top player. Okay. Euro qualifiers, Group H. Yes, eight point. Yeah, okay. We saw these games. So, um, yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't make the World Cup, uh, and it doesn't look like they made it out of their nations league. So they probably got relegated there. Euro qualifiers. They are in fourth, and they're gonna. I. I yeah. Yeah, I'd say Ukraine and France easily better than than Northern Ireland, so it'd be tough to claim that second spot. But, uh, well, that's just fascinating, my friends. Let me know what you think about Mike moving to Liverpool, and how how is how would you deal with the rotation if you're Pep Guardiola? I mean, I don't think I'm wrong. I'd take Pep at Liverpool, but I like Klopp. Okay, Paul Colombani, now just a midfielder. So have we lost the Wonder Kid tags because we're no longer kids? We're 21 now. Is that is that how it works? Has two international caps now. 22 and a half K on a rotation contract and listed for loan. Hmm. Went to Freiburg in the second Bundesliga or the two Bundesliga. The entire season was is what that looks like. 32 league starts, 5 goals, 8 assists on a 6-9-1. That's actually a pretty good load spell. 4 cup, cup cup starts, and the DFB Pokal will be my guess, with an assist on a 7-0-7. 2 international starts on a 6-8-5. So those are actual starts for Norway. And then they want to loan him out again. So is is this just kind of their their uh, their business model? They, they pick up the good youngsters. They loan them out if they can. Nothing too crazy from an injury standpoint. But are these loans free? I guess is my question. Are those free loans? That's that's what I'm thinking. So they paid two and a half million. These were seven million. They are they going to sell him on? Wants to go on loan. Wants to gain first team experience. But at some point, you go like, eh, is his value really going to increase? When did he sign a contract? Before last episode, and it's good for another three years. I mean, he's making yeah, Paul's making good money, right? Um, let's take a look at the form here. So these are what friendlies? Yes, or some competition of some variety. But for Freiburg, midfield, okay. 
Picked up some yellows, but all midfield all the time. Not defensive midfield. And then Norway, he plays it. Okay, is this is this the World Cup? Or is is that a is that like a warm up for the World Cup? Off at 84, goes the full 90, and then in March against Greece, goes the full 90. Let's go take a look at Norway. Oh, Norway's on the rise, my friends. Oh, that's all Paul, right? This, this part right here is all Paul. Yeah, that's obviously. He's not even listed as a top player. That's a bit of a shock. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying Norway doesn't have good players, but... Oh, maybe they were the warm-up for, like, Paraguay making the World Cup. Maybe that's what that is instead. Looks like I would guess they got promoted out of their Nations League group, but he wasn't involved with that. So against Greece, uh, yeah, 6.9, bang average. Euro qualifiers, they've won all three games. That's impressive. So they've got a game in hand against Greece, and they're currently top of the table. Oh, England's got two games in hand. I was about to say, like, Look away, England fans. Um, but, you know, that that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, my friend. He's obviously not listed to keep. He's not even... Yeah, so... Paul's got some work to do on, I think, finding a place where he can get consistent minutes. And... Well, that might lead to more appearances for Norway. What do you think? Mr. Hetland is with the other Liverpool. I mean... Looks to be just like the pacey winger. You just runs the ball down the right, knocks the ball. Like, I bet he plays over here, and it just goes. Wants to move to Burger Club. He's unhappy. He's wanted. Ooh, who's he wanted by? West Ham. Okay, he's worth 78K. When did he sign his contract? October of last season. Or, uh, uh, yeah, October of, like, in between last episode and this episode. Poor choice if you want to move, I'm just saying. Uh, minimum fee release clause. And that expires next December. So if, if West Ham wants him, they're going to have to pay five and a quarter million euros. Last season, the whole season, ended up with 26 starts, a sub, four goals on a 6.88 with two assists, four cup starts on a 6.65, no international appearances. Thus far this season, 15 league starts on a 6.83 with an assist, nine cup starts with an assist on a 6.89, and three continental starts with a sub with two assists on a 6.85. So... No international caps. Looks kind of like, just like an average winger, right? Like the mentals there, bravery, not very brave, doesn't concentrate very well. And, you know, decent passing, but like is just fast as all get out. Like just run fast and ping it in. But he's still young. Like so he could, if he moves to a club like a West Ham where he can get not necessarily game time, but good training and coaching and work on his attributes and maybe loaned out to, you know, a championship club or a league one club or something like that. I'd say he still has a chance. Um... No major injury, food poisoning. Rough, rough, rough times. Um, and maybe this is a part of it too. They're kind of mixing him like left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, right. So it's like, pick a side. I would imagine he's much better as a right winger than a inside forward on the left. That's just me. That's just me. Although you could say, okay, he got a 7.9 on the left. 67 Picking up assists on the left. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but it could be it could be the team too. So, do you think he makes a move? And if so, where? And there's your not not defensive. You don't play him here or here. You just you make you stay forward. Okay, just you do you. You do you. Next. But he got two World Cup qualification. He's got seven caps and a goal for Malaysia. Not even a sniff. Not even a sniff. Andrew, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. Let's look at Malaysia. Oh, my mouse is messing up here. That's not good. I've had this mouse, oh boy, here we go. It's going to start randomly clicking. I've had this mouse for over eight years. I've got a replacement coming tomorrow. Kind of sad. Um, is there a reason I can't see these games? Oh, it's right clicking. That's This is great. This is fantastic. Okay, he gets in against 
Brunei uh, 6.7. I mean, to be fair, it's like he's not Matt Sharp, right? 6.1 against South Korea and a gigantic loss. 6.8 with a goal against Jordan. I mean, I mean, <laughs> surely someone would notice. Um, a 6.1 against China, a 6.8 against Oman, a 6.7 against UAE, and a 6.6 .6 against Japan. I think we're gonna lose Andrew. I think Andrew is. We're, we're gonna make sure here. I, 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 yeah. It's been fun. Sorry, Andrew. All right. Yeah, it was Oscar Tendence, the, the Irish lad. That's. I've started to say that, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. Still with Borma, two point nine million, ten and a quarter a week, eight international caps. Okay. Really good off the ball. Good dribbling. Good first touch passing. Seventeen agility. Runs with the ball through the center, get forward whenever possible, argues with officials, plays one-two, dictates tempo, likes... I mean, you get a lot of trait trading. My goodness. Hot prospect contract still. Okay, let's go take a look here, yeah, lads. Um, That's not the best. So, he got loaned out, didn't get a lot of starts. I mean, his most starts were in League One. And with Bournemouth, he gets three starts and a sub and a goal on a 6-8-8 eight, eight, and then a bunch of you know, friendlies or, you know, under 23s or whatever. Um, a cup start on a 7.0. I don't, I don't think that's very good. Pulled thigh, kind of looks like a recurring inju injury. He's had it three times now. Fast, pretty good vision, pretty good technicals. Not great mentally or physically because of your jumping reach. But you'd think, you'd think he could get another loan. I think that's what I'm most confused by. His contract expires in two years. Same contract. It's not very good. So last season, towards the end of the season, he picked up two games here. Went 50 and 77 minutes, 7.4 and 6.6. .6. Quite the different. Well, Brentford versus West Brom. So that's what we got to see in the last 20 games. He only appeared twice. Now he was in light training because he got injured in some variety, and he was injured here, but that's not what's keeping him. He wasn't injured in these games, right? That's not what is keeping him out. Okay, and then he's not made an appearance for Ireland in over a year. So I was going to say, let's take a look to see if they played against each other. Well, the answer to that question is no. They're still with the other Martin O'Neill. And they've gone up to 49th. Euro qualifiers. Not going well at all. <laughs> Even with a game in hand, not looking good. Nations League, uh, they got promoted. So they're going back to, to the Nations League B level. Okay. No, that's not, that's Israel. That's not Ireland. Ireland is staying in C. I, I can, I do know how to read. Sometimes. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, we could look at Bournemouth, finish 10th. Solid result for them. He's a hot prospect. He's listed. That's interesting. But it's like, okay, now what? Are you going to play him? Let me know what you think. Makes me nervous. Marcus Fromm is still with Genki. He's wanted, though. He's up to 17.5K. Lazio. Interesting. Looking forward to recovering. He's got a tight thigh. Looking forward to recovering his injury. Is that it? Looking forward to recovering from my tight thigh. Like, seems a little aggressive. Um, got eight league starts, four subs, four goals and two assists, and he's on a 6.75. You'd think it would be better. I mean, I guess it depends on how long the substitute appearances were. With a cup start on a 6.9, two continental starts and a sub on a 6.5. 11, however, international starts with eight goals on a 7.15. Not bad, my friend. Not bad. Um, okay, first team, 42 caps for Singapore, 30 goals. Like, he's got to be, like, he's going to be, like, a legend for them, right? Like, surely that's what we all think. Really fast, pretty good physicals, pretty good technicals. Tight, th I mean, no major injuries. He's, that's, that's helped him out from a career standpoint. Let's take a look at the form here. 
Okay. I mean, he's injured and then maybe coming back from it, maybe? But that's not as good, right? Like, that's... That's bad, actually. I mean, they, they get him in at the end, towards the end of the season. He goes to full 90, almost... No, he goes, and then he's on as a sub and on as a sub. But he did what? Well. I don't know. How do you get an assist on a 6.6? .6? That's aggressive. Um, and then for Singapore, I mean, going back to here, he's picked up another, what is that, 10 or 11? A, he got a quad against Nepal. Yes, that on a 10.0. Not bad. And then a hat trick against Macau on 8.8. .8. And a goal against Brunei. And then the rest of the time... Okay, let's look at Singapore. How are they doing? They got to 145th and then a precipitous drop. They dropped down to 159th, but it's still an improvement. They you know, were 165th. Somewhat of an improvement. Oh, my. They haven't scored a goal in all of 2023. And Fromm has been in there the entire time. Even in friendlies. Ooh. I mean, I mean, they got the one goal in the friendly, right? So, like, they scored on January 7th, and then that's the last literal time. Okay. Okay. That's... I Do we... Yeah. I was gonna, yeah, we already saw that. That's, uh, that's, not, that's not going too well. Uh, Gink is finished second. Okay. Who could be keeping Marcus? He he's a substitute. So we got Said Kakolanya, who's twenty. Uh oh, competition. He looks he looks he's a wonder kid. So now that means like Marcus is just a striker. Is he going to be able to overcome, or is he going to move to like Lazio to where he can get game time? He's on a first team contract though, and he signed it a year ago. So that's. A bit interesting that he's on a first-team contract but not being used. Hmm. Let me know what you think about that. Let's go take a look at our last player. I think it's last. Danny Dobson, still at Benfica. 14 caps, 7 goals at the international level. 6.75k. A rotation contract. He's listed for a loan and wanted by 33 clubs. Okay, we're not going to go through all of those. They are, you know, the who's who of some of the leagues, right? Looks okay. Interesting. But that wouldn't indicate... Things have not gone... So they loaned him out to the Eredivisie with uh, Vitesse. 33 league starts, a sub, 16 goals, an assist on a 7-0-1. Four cup starts, five goals, 6-7-5-7. Six continental starts with a goal on a 6-7-2. And eight international starts with a sub with five goals on a 7-0-1. That looks actually pretty good. I mean, the Eredivisie not exactly known for its defensive prowess. So being a one goal every two there, is that as meaningful? Let me know what you think about that. Um, broke his collarbone. That was last year. Never mind. Ty so nothing. I mean, a pulled calf muscle. That's f uh, three weeks is not a short amount of time for a pulled calf muscle, but you know, doing all right. Um, not a single appearance for actual Benfica, but for Vitesse, I mean, he's pretty much starting all the time, except here. Go ahead, Eagles. Got a hat trick against Utrecht. You got a brace and an assist against AZ. Bracing against Feyenoord. He likes a big game, you could say. Hat trick against Odd Z. So it's kind of come in groups. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. That's just my take on it. And South Africa. He's at what? 10, 11 appearances? Something like that? Not selected. And then off 56, full 90 against Iceland with a goal. Unused substitute, you know, six days later. So they kind of rotated. Off 51, off 42, full 90 with a brace against Egypt. Goal against Tunisia and Gambia. So let's take a look at what uh, what's going on. With actual, well, okay, Benfica first. Consistently second. And then South Africa. Oh, From 70th, you can see that, yeah, to 53rd. But he's not a key player. He's not even listed here. Okay. African Nations group. 5.9, Danny. 7.5, much better. Is that the... Did he get the winner? He got the winner. Nice. Nice. And he got the winner against uh, Tunisia. They did not make the World Cup. But, I mean, that's... I mean, you could see why they've risen up the rankings. Like, 
no losses in 2022. They lost some friendlies, but they've won all of their like actual games in African Nations Cup. They are okay. They've qualified at the top with nine points. I don't know what the African Nations second round is. Maybe that's because they qualified top, they go there. Okay, that probably makes sense. That game is today, ironically enough. But that's what's going on with South Africa and Danny Dobson. I mean, I'm going to just pull this up. You can pause it if you'd like. Who do you think he moves to or should he move to? We need to get him some game time. Game time important. I mean, he looks, he looks a treat to me. Shoots the power, tries first time shots. All right, my friends. So that's where we end up. We got, a, we got two players at Liverpool, one of them actually at Liverpool, the other one getting loaned out. We got some players that are unhappy and wanting to move. Values have gone up. Our highest valued player, obviously, $30.5 million with Mike Vitek, and then zero for Andrew C. But we won't talk about that. Um, the thing I was going to mention about other experiments is I'm not replacing this one. I'm looking at what happens after this one, and I'm curious if you would be interested in seeing like some sort of a managerial um, experiment to where we put managers at various places either in the world or you know all in one league or something like that and I could use my patrons to do that if you don't know what patreon is the link is in the description below all these people that you see here including Greg Baxter are patrons of my channel and that this is one way I can reward them to say like hey I'll throw you into experiments and episodes and stuff like that so would you want to see that and if so how would you want it set up all in one league um, if so, what league or all spread spread throughout the world like this? And if so, like at the top level at the like the second tier, like where would you want to see them start their careers? I also had something uh, one of my patrons mentioned because I, I asked my patrons about this first and they said, well, what if you had like pairings, right? Like you had a coach and assistant manager and maybe like I think you could set it up in the um, inside of FM where like they're their favorite personnel or something like will they stick together. So like we could look at the pairs. I'd like your thoughts on that. But either way. Thanks for your support on the series. Make sure you hit that like button. Lots of stuff to talk about in the comments. I will try and keep up with those. We've been getting so many comments. It's been hard for me to keep up personally. But keep it up, folks. And we'll see you next time to see. Maybe Andrew can get a rescue from somewhere. Come on.